Hey everybody, it's Natasha from Mystic Wisdom and Treasures here on YouTube. Today we're going to be finding out about the energies surrounding October for you. What can you expect during the month of October on the path you are currently on? Um, before we get started, I would like you to take a few moments to really ground, protect, and center yourself. Relax your mind. Call in your spirit guides and guardian angels to guide you to the pile that contains the information for your highest good regarding the month of October. What messages do you need to hear? When you're ready, let's dive right into it. So today we have three piles of cards. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Again, you can pause the video until you feel ready and go with your intuition and not necessarily your eyes. Go with what pile you feel the most drawn to intuitively. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, that's perfectly okay. Trust your own gut intuition. All right, let's get started. So again, one more time, we have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Hello, pile number one. For those of you that chose the Amazonite crystal for pile number one, let's see what the month of October has in store for you. All right, let's hop right into it, guys. So for your cards, we have the death card, strength, the star, karma, So for your oracle cards, we have, which I find this one really interesting, another death card, as we have the death tarot cards right here. Manifestation. And relax. All right, let's hop right into it, pile number one, and see what the month of October has in store for you. So the first thing that comes to me when I look at your pile is I'm sensing the fact that in the month of October, you're going to be having this really focused sense about you, really focused energy, like you're putting a lot of your attention on something. Um, I'm feeling this with, with um, the strength card here, and also the death card, and manifestation relax. I'm getting the sense that this is a pile that maybe in the month of September, and this could be early on in October too, just take what resonates with you, discard what does not, test your own intuition. Um, but I'm getting the sense that maybe pr recently you may have really overcome a certain situation in your life and I'm really feeling this with the death cards, both of these, and the, the fact that it showed up twice. You have faced an ending, but it was an ending that you had triumph over. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like strong victory energy from this in the way that the energy around these two cards feel together with the death and the strength card. I'm feeling, when I look at these cards right now, I'm getting the sense that you 
right now we're probably feeling um, very empowered from whatever victory you have won. I feel like maybe the month of September and even the month before that, there may have been a situation where um, it was a large struggle and you needed a lot of strength and courage and you needed a lot of this lion energy. But for the month of October, I really feel like your hard work is paying off or has paid off and you're really going to be seeing the results of this. For others of you, this may still be in the process of something that you're working towards and I feel like whether this is a situation or a goal, I'm seeing you put a lot of time and energy into this and I'm getting the message right now. This is um, something that will probably last till maybe about the middle of the month that doesn't go for all of you but i feel like that's for somebody who's watching this um i'm feeling a strong support system in the karma card and i'm also feeling the sense that maybe even with the karma karma excuse me karma card that maybe this was this result that you were looking for or are looking for is something that you've been waiting for for a long time and there's a lot of relief involved in this situation and I feel this strong support system and that for some of you this may be something that you were going through with other people too or you had a really strong support system backing you up um I also feel for some of you, you may be leaning on some of your friends at this time, but I'm also hearing right now from uh, Spirit that hard work is paying off, and I'm feeling like there's a lot of hard work involved in this pile, and for someone watching this right now, and again, this isn't everybody, this might just be for one person, but I'm going to say it because this is what Spirit's telling me, but for somebody out there... Um, it might be important for you to write with the manifestation and relax card. I'm feeling like, um, I feel like your experiences can really help people, help other people, and it may be a really good idea for you to write and, um, use the lessons that you have learned and this newfound knowledge and, really the everything you've overcame use it to inspire motivate and empower other people or you can maybe um you may be interested in a blog maybe you may be interested in writing a book um but that's just going to be for possibly one person or maybe there's a few but i'm also getting the sense that manifestation energy is really strong right now for the month of October is going to be very strong. Um, and I feel like whatever you're working towards right now or in the month of September is going to be, it's like seated and getting ready for a growth because you're taking the early steps and manifestation is going to be really important. Um, practicing the law of attraction and remembering the fact that thoughts are energy and what we put out there comes back to us so I'm feeling like there's been a certain goal or something that you've wanted to happen or you've been working towards especially working towards really hard I feel like whatever you've been working towards is going to come into fruition and I'm seeing this especially towards the end of the month um the interesting thing when I first when I pull these cards for you group number one when I looked at the death card right here I was getting the sense that I heard for some of you that Halloween's going to be especially important for you and when I got that message I, I had goosebumps on my arms and to me that was like a validation so for somebody watching this Halloween's going to be particularly important and I'm getting a strong gut feeling right now when I'm saying that now um, 
What else am I getting for you, group number one? Music. I was also feeling like for some of you, music might be particularly important for you in the month of October. And maybe even expressing yourself in music. Maybe that's what the writing had to do with. Like, writing about your experiences and expressing yourself in music, creatively in music. I'm feeling a lot of strong focus for this month. Um, strong thought, thinking energy. So you might feel like you're even off in your head a bit. You might think feel like you're off planning a bit, kind of retreating in this way. But it's towards, I'm feeling strong goals. Um, maybe you're working towards something to bring joy to other people. I'm also feeling with this karma card. And also, for some of you, maybe even, like, with Halloween coming up, um, I'm feeling like maybe for someone out there watching this, maybe they're planning on throwing a Halloween get-together or event or party or have something going on where they're doing a lot of planning involving this and collaborating with other people. There's strong, there's hard, a lot of hard work and focus and also collaboration with others and a strong sense of community and using an artistic flair to make this happen. I'm really feeling like maybe you are going to be planning something creatively for this month or deep within your thoughts. Yes, I feel like prior to this month, um, there was some kind of ending, and this month is really about the triumph over the situation and starting this new chapter and working towards this goal, and it feels very creative, very inspired, and strong words, I feel like. Your words are going to be particularly strong and your thoughts and your thoughts are very important this month. And again, I see you really working hard towards something, whether this is an event or something creative. And I feel like I see you yes, working with others. Um, this may be a month and it's like you close the old chapter once again and this is like your new acclaimed freedom and you're finally free to do these new things and make new decisions. I felt like I had to say the word decisions for somebody, but there's, it's like a new chapter and it's a sense of like a breath of fresh air to a lot of planning, maybe even again, a lot of writing um, enjoying the freedom and strong manifestation for this pile. All right, that's all I have for you, pile number one. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I love to read what you have to say. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel if you are new and you liked this video. You can also click on the notification bell to stay up to date with any new content when it gets released. All right, guys, thank you. Hello group number two, for those of you who chose the amethyst crystal, let's see what your spirit guides say is in store for you for the month of October. What kind of energies surround the month of October for you and based on the path you are currently on, where might the month of October lead? Where, where is this, what energy surrounds this month for you? Let's hop right into it, you guys. So your first card is the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. The Seven of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. For your Oracle cards, we have Protection, Magic Circle. Shadow, Scrying Mirror, put that right there, to the ball. and Faith.
Alright, so the first thing that I see for you right now, pile number two, is that maybe recently um, either you've had to cut yourself off from somebody who may have been draining your energy, who may have been an energy vampire, and I'm really feeling this within the protection card and the faith, the way that... Um, this person's shoes are within the circle of salt and how she's in this like glass um, case. I'm not sure what to call that exactly. And with the shadow card, um, I may, I feel that you may also be taking some time out for yourself either prior to the month of October, like leading up to it and maybe right now. Or this may be how it starts, especially in the beginning of the month. This may be more recluse for you, a more quiet month, um, staying in your own shell and maybe taking some time to retreat. I'm really feeling with the Ace of Swords card here that um, I feel the month of October, you are likely going to be discovering some kind of truth. And maybe even if this is not how you entered the month, maybe that's why there's this sense to draw some boundaries. I'm feeling like the strong boundaries are being drawn or will be drawn or have been drawn prior to this month. And I feel like um, there's going to be a strong sense of protecting your energy and protecting like your space from toxic people or toxic things or people that may not have your best interest at heart and I'm feeling like for some of you again I feel that you have seen the truth or you will be seeing the truth of a situation or a person but I'm especially feeling a person um yeah, there's a sense of, for some of you, maybe this kind of stubbornness about it in a way where it was like this abrupt thing that you found out and it may have really put a damper on how you've been feeling and you may have been feeling like you were hung high and dry and um, from the person who may have been draining some of your energy or maybe you felt like you were kind of used in a way but because of this, I feel like you are um, more recluse and you're trying to better yourself in the month of October. And I feel like maybe there's even some anxious thoughts. I don't mean to scare anybody when I say this or anything along those lines. Um, I'm just pointing out what Spirit is showing me from these cards but I'm feeling like there's been something that has triggered um, you to have to make an emotional decision that's weighed a lot on your heart. Maybe there were racing thoughts about this. Maybe it was something you didn't even feel in control of. I'm feeling with the Seven of Wands card here. But with the Two of Pentacles, I'm really feeling you contemplating um, something, possibly contemplating an end to something. And I feel like also part of the decision is to just have your space away and find solitude and uh, maybe even dive, dive deep within your own shadow side and putting up this barrier until you are re-energized and ready to step back out into the world. Uh, you may be battling with some anxious thoughts or some racing thoughts in the month of October or leading up to it. Let me see what else I see for you. Yeah, I feel, I definitely feel like uh, for many of you watching this or some of you who may be watching this, um, that you had to walk away from something or someone after finding out a certain truth. And I feel like the month of October for you, pile number two, is really going to be about what you do with this truth. And also observing your own thoughts and emotions and protecting your energy and also diving deep within your, diving deep within your own shadow and um, making a really heavy emotional decision for some, for many of you. Maybe this 
thing that happened or this decision has caused you to go caused you to go into a more of a retreat um maybe for some of you it could have um made it hard to express or maybe you don't know the words yet to express how you're feeling or tell people what you see and I'm getting for somebody watching this it's like maybe something hurt your feelings or hurt your heart and because of this you retreated away from whatever this was or whoever this was and it's like one of those things where um, you may not say what's going on but you see it and you're kind of keeping it to yourself and maybe that might be causing this tidal wave on the inside too or maybe you're trying to balance out or figure out the right decision to go here or balance out your own emotional state before you confront this person and feeling like whatever had happened whatever ended whatever you may have walked away from or whoever um, feeling like whatever this is in the month of October has caused you to go within your own shell, to go within, go within, um, dive deep within yourself and emotionally reflect. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like maybe for you, the month of October will really be about healing and, um, setting up those boundaries so you can heal. And I think for some of you, that's really important. And that's why some of you, for I'm feeling some of you, uh, that's why you need the space. Maybe um, it's it's to heal. It's to be able to go out and talk to people first. It's like you need to emotionally recuperate or understand what's going on within your own self first. I feel also this may be a month where you're really running, you're really learning to trust your own intuition, dive deep intuitively with both the protection, the shadow, and the faith card. Um, maybe you're even um, working on exiting your comfort zone a little bit or going and learning something new, and especially intuitively or. Maybe not even intuitively, but it's like maybe you felt really recluse in the month of October. You're going to take like little baby steps to get out of that. You may be coming out of like a dark spot even and slowly but surely and opening up to a new world of possibilities. Um... You get a strong sense of boundaries with this pile. I'm feeling with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Swords and also up here. Choosing to value your own emotions over others this month. Calling that boundary for your own energy and your own emotional well-being. Diving deep within yourself and seeing the truth. A lot of truths will likely come out into the open this month or may surface I'm feeling a lot of contemplating energy especially like contemplating over your emotions seeing the truth and for someone watching this maybe that if there's somebody that you caught in a lie or somebody that was acting dishonestly or doing something that you found hurtful Maybe it's something like you've observed and you've seen the truth of, but you're not, you're, you either will not tell them or you're not ready to tell them, but you see it. It's like kind of holding that information to yourself. Um, yeah, a lot of emotional healing within solitude this month and maybe stepping outside of your comfort zone, finding truths. A lot of truths are going to be illuminated this month a lot of possible shadow work um defending your own boundaries and holding those boundaries up really high making an emotional decision and possibly taking some time to contemplate what you wish to decide about this all right i hope you enjoyed your reading pile number two if you enjoyed this be sure to give me a thumbs up 
a comment and if you are new to my channel subscribe you can click on the notification bell to stay up to date with any new content when it gets released hope you have a good day guys hello pile number three for those of you who chose the green tourmaline crystal let's see what the month of october has in store for you what energies can you expect on the current path you are on for the month of October. What your spirit guides say is in your highest good to know at this time for the month of October ahead. Your first cup is the Knight of Cups. We have the Wheel of the Year or the Wheel of Fortune. The Fool. The Ace of Wands. For your Oracle cards, we have Winter, Watchtower of the North, Power, Witch's Hat, and Mindful. All right, let's dive in and see what you can expect from the month of October, pile number three. So getting right into it, what I see for you, pile number three, is the month of, I'm hearing too, the month of October is a month of new beginnings, new fortunes. Um, I feel like you're leaving something behind and there was a lot of transformation within this. And it's like you're really taking this step to open up to this new adventure, open up to this new, this new pathway. Um, yeah, leaving something behind. I'm feeling that with the Ace of Wands here. I just heard the word balance when looking at the Knight of Cups for somebody watching this. Um, I feel like the months prior to October has really been a process of transformation and it may have been more hard for you. It may have been faced with some difficult decisions to kind of morph you into this butterfly, go through that process of this metamorphosis. And I feel like the month of October is really the resulting growth from that. And this is the time where it's kind of like, okay, so the feeling I get, um, maybe you can relate to this is say if you were still in your early school days, like, um, grade school, high school, whatever. And it's like the end of the year is almost here and it's almost summertime. It's like the last day of school and you're just embracing that time. That's kind of like the feeling of this. It's like the months prior to October have really been about growth and I'm feeling like the month of October is like closing that and this is your end result. This is the growth that's accumulated and I'm feeling like for the month of October you're going to be seeing a lot of abundance and a lot of abundance collecting up from what you have gathered in your growth and who you've become and what you've accumulated in this way. Um, I'm feeling like yeah, somebody that may have had some a hard time or some hard times leading up to this month. They may have been a little bit of a struggle. Uh, maybe this was with other people or situations or financially or something along those lines. Like, there's some sense of maybe you're even waiting for something for some of you. And this is the month where it's, you're really going to shine to. I'm feeling like... You are going to be you're going to be receiving a lot of um, public recognition, whether this is from friends, family, or your community, or something beyond that. Um, I'm really feeling like this is a month of abundance for you, and really stepping into your own authentic power. I see a lot of creativeness. Um, 
creativity and I'm seeing that there's a lot of authenticity within this month for you like your true self your creative self your even like for those of you who like art or creating I'm feeling like that's really going to be shining your true self and your authentic self are really going to be shining through whatever it is that you do whether that's creations whether that's at work um, I'm really feeling like you're going to be receiving recognition or maybe even the recognition that you've been waiting for for months or the last month. Um, yeah, I feel you like leaving behind this old chapter and now it's this abundance that's accumulated for you. Um, I'm feeling like I'm really getting the sense, like, this is a positive pile. This is a pretty positive pile uh, for you, group number three. Uh, I'm feeling like the month of October is going to be really exciting, uh, really creative. I feel like your authenticity, once again, is really going to be strong and show. And I feel like you're going to be really admired this month for that. You're going to get a lot of compliments at whatever it is that you do. Um, or And just being yourself. Like, your personality, your hard work, especially your hard work, I feel like is really going to pay off this month um, in an authentic way. Like, your authenticity is really going to show in whatever it is that you do. And people are going to notice that, and I feel a lot of abundance coming in your way because of that. Um, feeling like you're trying really hard to stay stress-free, drama-free. Um, and you're really focusing in on your own path. And I feel like a, a lot of creative energy from this pile. And this is more ahead, but Spirit's telling me too that, um, some people have a stigma thinking that winter is more difficult, but I'm feeling like for you, um, that's not the case. I'm feeling like winter's actually going to be really abundant for you. Um, maybe for some in this reading, this is a general reading, so certain things I say are going to apply to some and maybe not others. But for somebody watching this, I'm feeling like maybe the lesson you learned and have learned uh, or learning is being more mindful, being more present. Um... Trusting your own inner compass, I'm hearing right now. Um, and when you're present, your authenticity shows more, I'm feeling, for some reason in this. Lots of abundance. Um, you may be giving somebody a gift or doing a good deed for somebody else this month. Um, yeah, a lot of, like, there's a lot of fun energy in here for the month of October. And maybe that comes along with planning for something for Halloween, kind of like pile number one. But, um, like, the whole thing's exciting. Maybe you love the month of, um, October. Maybe you love the season of fall. Uh, like, the pumpkins and the leaves and the whole energy of autumn. Like, maybe you feel really good with it, and I'm feeling, yeah, your, your creativity, creativity, your authenticity is really going to show this month, and it's going to be like, even if you're not trying to get other people's attention, like, by doing what you're doing, people are going to notice, you're going to get a lot of public, um, recognition, or recognition amongst your friends, or community, I'm feeling that a lot and people are really going to notice you for you in a positive way. Let me see what other messages pop up for you, pile number three. And for some of you, I'm also getting the sense that, um, this won't be for all of you, but for some of you, I'm getting the sense that you may be putting, um, your energy a lot into one thing, 
and um, you may be there may be something that you're ignoring or not paying attention to that needs your focus. Um, you some of you may be to, needing to do a little bit of grounding or taking a break from something. That doesn't apply to all, but I'm feeling like yes, do your thing. Uh, maybe work on whatever it is that you're working on. Like, whatever is lighting your soul on fire, I'm feeling like there's a lot of passion towards whatever this is, but also be mindful of the things outside of that in your life. I feel like there's something that may be a little bit neglected, um, maybe some type of responsibility or something that maybe need maybe needs your attention, but your focus might be on one set thing. And again, that's not for everybody. That's just for some of you or someone watching this. And maybe what spirit wants you to know for this month is to be more present, is to be more mindful. You might be um, into a lot of daydreaming or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe this month is about being mindful for some of you, about being very present, fully soaking up the present moment and... Maybe that's part of this new outlook for October for you. Yes, a lot of creative power shining. Um, really embracing yourself. I'm feeling like for the month of October, you're really going to be stepping into your power. And regardless of pe whether or not people approve, you're going to feel really good about it. And you're going to be doing your own thing. And it's like you're filling up your own cup. And for others of you, I feel like you're also with really embracing yourself and also feeling more giving and helpful to others and generous to others. Um, old chapters have ended and this new fresh start has begun but I'm also getting the sense for some of you that there may be something that you need to pay more attention to too that you may be forgetting or may not be fully present for because your mind is set on one thing and it's important spirit keeps saying that it's important for you not to ignore whatever this thing is Maybe it's a certain responsibility where you're having lots of fun, but maybe there's more mundane things that are collecting up that need your attention or whatever this is for you. I feel like if this message, if that message, part of the message is meant for you, I feel like it'll enter your mind when I said that or you realize it really soon. I think that covers everything. I hope you enjoyed your reading, pile number three. If you did, remember to give my video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I love to hear what you have to say. You can also click on the notification bell to stay up to date with any new content when it gets released. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.